Yes, welcome to Chloe Avalon. Guess what we're doing? We're making a chocolate cake. And it's not just any chocolate cake. It's a chocolate cake that we've had many, many times. It's one that I grew up with and it's a very simple cake. And the name of the cake is actually pretty silly. It's called Wacky Cake. <laughs> they call it a Wacky Cake for some reason, maybe because it doesn't take any eggs. Um, so it's a cake that's easy to make, doesn't have that many ingredients, and um, I grew up with it. We often would slap that cake together uh, for a meal, and we just loved it. And then I started making it for the kiddos, and literally every one of my children can make this cake by themselves. Just last week, Chloe told me, Mom, I would love to try and make a cake. So I said, go in the kitchen and make that cake and clean the mess. And she went in there and she made that cake perfectly. And so we have all made this cake. Even the boys have made this cake. <laughs> and what we usually do, we usually just put it in a you know regular cake pan and sometimes we just sprinkle chocolate chips on top and eat it like that. Or sometimes I make kind of a chocolate ganache with like cream and chocolate chips, which I'm gonna do tonight. Um, but we just always keep it simple. But tonight we're actually going to make it in like a two layer cake just to make it prettier. But yes, this is such a simple cake. You can uh, whip it up. Like one time I timed myself and I whipped it up in three minutes and had it in the oven. So it's that easy. And Avalon already measured all the ingredients. So they're just gonna pour it into this uh, mixer and start mixing. And by the way, you saw me mixing up some bread. I have the bread right here. It rose already once and I punched it down and it's rising again. And then I'm going to make that beautiful challah bread. Hopefully it turns out beautiful. I haven't made it in quite a while because I do sourdough more, but I have this recipe in a video that I did quite a long time ago when we still lived in Montana. Um, so I will link that video below so that it'll show you how I make this bread and how I braid it and everything. So they're going to do this and then I'm going to be doing the bread. And the reason why we're making this is because we were going to a home group tonight. Yes, some friends invited us to a home group that they have every Friday night. So I'm just going to take some cake and bread along because we all share a meal together. This chocolate cake also has some other names, like I've seen it where it was called simple chocolate cake or easy chocolate cake and also wacky cake. And it has, this cake holds so many memories for me. Growing up, we would have this so often, especially late evenings when we would come home from Bible study or prayer meeting and mom would have a chocolate cake there ready for us to eat. And it was just good memories with the family. And I feel like we are creating the same thing with our family now. The children just love this cake. And every once in a while they ask, hey, can we make a chocolate cake? And so we have it quite often. I try not to make it as sweet as it says. So I will often use a sugar substitute like stevia and erythritol for part of the sweetener. And the rest of the sweetener, I will usually use sucanat sugar. It is so enjoyable to see my daughters in the kitchen and just see how they're starting to learn all the ins and outs of cooking and baking. And they really took this cake baking uh, episode quite seriously <laughs> and were doing their very best. They even measured out the cake in each pan to make sure that it comes out evenly, which was nice.
So while the cake was baking, the girls washed up the dishes for me and I started on this challah bread. And I usually make a double batch so that I have two loaves. And I will have the video down below where I actually give instructions on how to make this bread and how to braid it. So if you want to know exactly how to do it, you will need to go watch that video and the recipe will be in the description box of that video too. So when I first learned how to do this bread, I learned how to make a six strand braid. Now, if that is too hard for you, you can easily just do a three strand braid or I also learned how to do a four strand, but I will actually show you in the other video how to make a six strand, which is really super simple actually. bread is braided and the cakes are in the oven and as soon as those things are done I'm going to put them outside because it's like zero degrees out there I need them to cool off quickly because I only have like an hour and a half to get everything done before we leave actually Joas is going to take uh, Avalon Wyatt and Chloe to their swim lessons here in a bit so they won't be here uh, but I'm going to finish up the cake, decorate it and stuff, and then Justin, Ethan, and I will take the stuff and meet them there, and then we will go to home group together. So, I think this is going to turn out okay. I haven't made this bread in a long time because I've been doing sourdough so much, but uh, I decided to make it for tonight.
while the cakes were cooling, I am making the chocolate ganache and all it is is whipping cream and chocolate chips. And I used two cups of heavy whipping cream and two cups of chocolate chips. I use semi-sweet chocolate chips and you can also add vanilla if you like and you just warm up the cream and then you just melt in the chocolate chips and then you let it cool. The bread rose nicely and was ready to go into the oven. So I whipped together some egg whites because I had some leftover egg whites to put on top and that just gives it a glossy top. Now, if you would have used a whole egg with the yolk, it would have given it more of a golden top. So you could do that too. But I just spread that on and then I sprinkled on some sesame seeds also. something to put in between my cake layers so I took out some cream cheese a block of cream cheese and I had some strawberries so I blended up a few strawberries now I do not have a recipe for this but I can kind of tell you how I did it I had two teaspoons or two like about two tablespoons of strawberry jam left over and I mixed that in with the cream cheese and I mixed that together and then I added the fresh blended strawberries. I couldn't add too much because I didn't want it to get too thin. And it wasn't quite sweet enough, so I also added some stevia and erythritol. And I mixed it up and it was absolutely amazing. absolutely heavenly. It's creamy because of the cream cheese and um, the strawberry jam and then the fresh strawberries that I put in just gives it this such a fresh flavor. It makes me think of springtime. So I'm going to layer this between the two chocolate layers.
I was having so much fun with this cake, but I was also in a hurry. And so I couldn't wait on the ganache to, you know, thicken more because as it cools, it gets harder. And I could have whipped it up and had this really fluffy frosting, but it was still quite wet, uh, as you can see. But I made it work. It was probably not quite as pretty, but I made it work and uh, just kind of scraped the sides like I'm doing it and cleaned up the plate and added some strawberries and it just looked very pretty and it tasted really good too. Good morning. It's just a glorious morning. It was like 11, minus 11 degrees this morning, but it is now up to like 12 degrees. And this afternoon, we're going with some friends, Matt Yoder and a couple of his kiddos. We're going to go up Baldy Mountain and do some snow machining. So it's going to be absolutely glorious, but cold. So we're going to have to dress warm. And what I mean by dressing warm is wearing layers upon layers, like wear a base layer and then your regular layer and then some like uh, sweaters and then ski pants and this warm winter coat. And we're also going to have those, uh, I forget what you call them, but they're these face mask things that you all over your face except for your eyes <laughs> so you have to dress really warm if you want to have fun here in Alaska so we're gonna do that this afternoon and I might put a little bit of footage of that in the end here but I hope you enjoyed uh, this video of just us girls baking bread and baking that simple cake I'll have the recipe down below and I'll have that video link down below where I show you how to make that challah bread and um, that cake totally disappeared last night. Like I didn't even get a taste of it <laughs> there at the home group because there were a lot of people there. It was packed and I'm glad we went. We, um, that was the first time we were there. It was, they had wonderful worship session and teaching and it was just really good, really good. So I'm glad we went, but yes, the bread and the cake just got eaten up like that. So I, it must've been good. <laughs> And before I sign off here, I want to remind you ladies that if you shop on my lemongrass link down below, the event link, you will be placed in a drawing for free product. And I usually pick at least three to five winners a month. It de just depends. And last month I had four winners. So, um, and they usually win from uh, $300 to $100, even sometimes more of free product. So I love doing this. So I just want to let you know, if you do place an order, please place it on the event link down below. And those of you who don't know, it is a company that sells clean and healthy skincare and makeup and hair care. And that is all that I use. And one product that I want to tell you about right now is uh, their microdermabrasion cream. And I've talked about it before. And it says only to use it maybe once or twice a week because it's like a scrub. But I have started to use it like uh, every other day just to see what it does for my face. Because I feel like I have just a lot of big pores and uh, like some acne scars and even some dark spots. And so I just wanted to see what it does. And I've just been utterly amazed at how smooth it makes my face. And it feels like after I'm done, my face feels soft, like a baby's face almost. And so 
I used to be kind of scared to do it too much thinking that maybe it's going to harm my skin, but you actually want it to take your dead skin off and, and renew your skin. And what I do is just gently rub it in circular motions all over my face, especially on my cheeks and around here and up here. And I spend probably two minutes or more just gently rubbing, just gently rubbing it all over my face and just keep it a little wet with water and just rub it all over my face. And then I just thoroughly wash it off. And then I often will put a mask on afterwards, just a, like a five minute mask or something. And then I wash that off. Or then I just put on some nice moisturizer. And I feel like it has been making my face seem a lot smoother and a little bit younger looking. So I've been really happy about this product. So I just wanted to share that with you. Uh, but hopefully I get a little bit of footage of our time snowmobiling this afternoon. And if I do, I'll put it here at the end. But hey, I love you all. And I pray the blessing and the favor of God upon you and that you can truly hear his voice, that you can hear him speak to you and that you can hear his truth, not our truth, but his truth. Because the world has gotten so mixed up with uh, their own truth and about they've got so mixed up with with the word love we need the true love of God and his truth we need the spirit of truth to reign in our hearts so I just declare that over you everybody who's listening that you can hear the spirit of truth in your heart and that you can be directed by the spirit of truth and God's love in Jesus name okay I bless you I love you see you next time Little's first time again in Alaska. Mine too, actually. Wow, nice going, girl. Got it. Whoa. Oh. This is awesome. Isn't this fun? Oh, Here comes Wyatt. Look at that, Wyatt. Yeah. Woohoo! Let's open it! Go up, yeah. 